advocate and immigration opponent Ted Hayes was assaulted this past Tuesday for spreading his message that illegal immigrants are damaging this country and specifically attacking African Americans. An immigration group started false rumors about Hayes being connected to the Ku Klux Klan, which resulted in a black militant assaulting Hayes and spitting at him during a press conference. Eventually, the LAPD was called and two officers had to wrestle the aggressor to the ground before arresting him. Ted Hayes joins us now. Ted, I've known you a long time. We haven't always agreed, but uh, why don't you bring us specifically into this? You're against the illegal immigration. You're taking a stand. Somebody just attacked you for your views. Actually, yes, sir. I actually got to spit in my face. That's the first time something like that really ever happened. Is that on tape? Uh, no, we did not get a chance to catch that. But we were having a news conference out in front of the L.A. Sentinel, Choose Black America, which is the organization that I chair. We were having a news conference about the murders in Newark, New Jersey, and the failure of the uh, elected officials to obey their oath of office to protect us, and that we're having the same kinds of problems here in Los Angeles, and we're calling on Mayor Antonio Villagrosa, and particularly the L.A. City Council, uh, Bernard Parks, to help us to dispel this rumor so right, that we have no violence, this. but they refuse to do so. Let's go to the heart of the message that you're bringing here, and that is that illegal immigrants are damaging the, the country and specifically attacking African Americans. Do you see this as a, as a growing phenomenon and danger? Yes, sir. It's getting out of hand, and, and it's getting to the point to where they're callous about doing it, to the point they don't mind threatening us. I mean, they threatened my life, you know, and, and said we're going to cut your throat and so forth and so on. Yeah. They don't care. And that's, and that's a lot of it, Sean, in America, is because the black leadership, Jesse Jackson, Al Sharpton, these folks are telling them that their illegal immigration movement is the extension of the civil rights movement. There is no comparison between the two. I agree. Well, I, 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 I got a couple of questions here, Ted, because I live in Los Angeles. First yes, ma'am. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? First of all, you weren't attacked by a Hispanic, were you? No, ma'am, but it was because of a, a, of a rabble of Hispanics. Well, as how a white do you know folk. that? You were attacked by a black man, right? I know, but that very same man, you see in video that he was there on June 23rd when they denied me who had a permit to be in the Murray Park. They denied my permit, and he was there, and he's on film being there. He was dressed in paramilitary fatigues. Yeah, but, I mean, how you blame Latinos for this, I don't know. The, the, let me just make this point. The Latino leaders I know in Los Angeles and New, Washington and New York are trying to bring people together to, to make clear that black people have I tell you what, Mr. I agree with you. Ms. Metastrich, I tell you what, I have been asking the Latino leadership to meet with me for a year and a half, including Sativo Lopez and all of them. They have not done it. If you, I challenge you, I ask you, would you please uh, facilitate a meeting between my group and their group so we can dialogue? But, but every time I try to do it, ma'am, they have refused me. But you are claiming they're taking, I mean, I got some quotes from you when you were on this show. We came, we, they're taking our jobs away, our homes away. Ma'am, what they're doing, listen, before you just shout a cliche, what they've done, they've come here and they have undercut our labor laws. They went against the U.S. labor law standards and they pushed blacks out of that. We, for us to go back and undercut the Campaneros, that would put us right back into slavery. And black people are not going to go back into slavery. We were there once, we're not going to go there again, and we're not going to let the Campaneros be slaves to white, greedy, corporations in America any longer. Let me ask or you a question. Or homeowners for that matter. Let me ask you a question, Ted. If you go Please. down any street in Los Angeles, yes, any street, you will see Hispanic babysitters taking care of the kids, housekeepers cleaning the house, Hispanic gardeners tending the lawn, some of them legal, some of them illegal, many of them trying to make a living, sending their kids to college. Why aren't blacks in those jobs? Because we were forced out of those jobs. As I said to you before, they undercut the, the uh, wages, they're working below the labor standards, and for anyone in America to work below the labor standards is considered a slave. Remember all the union battles we had about labor laws? Well, but you're, you can't still be blaming slavery for the problems of black Americans. I mean, you Hold on, you're jumping, you're jumping, ma'am. You're, you're jumping, you're, you're jumping, you're jumping. Slow down. Go back and hear what I just said. I said the Campaneros are coming here, they're working below the labor standards for wages. We blacks are not going to do that. No American, white, black, brown, or red, or yellow shall work below the labor standards. That's slavery. That's a form of slavery. It's not chattel slavery, which my people suffered, but it's still slavery. Look, nobody's for slavery, but... No, 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 wait, 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 no, 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 no. What about that? 
Well, I, I, I do, 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 you, do you, do you, are you, Sean? No. Nope. You for slavery? No, ma'am. But, but I then, also think that you are, you are because you're, you're saying it's when you're okay for out. them to work, for, you're saying it's okay for them to work below the labor standards. That's what you're saying. I you're don't think slavery. employers should pay below the labor standards, but I admire people who are willing to work a day's no wage No one's questioning that. Pay. No one, they, we should stop slavery, we should enforce the laws against the employers and homeowners right, like you, we if you're hiring people. Thank you, we gotta let you...